There's a cool way to see if a number is divisible by 11. All you do is take the alternating sum of the digits, and if the result is a multiple of 11, then the original number is divisible by 11. So with 9,284, the alternating sum of the digits means that you alternate between adding and subtracting each digit. So we would do 9 minus 2 plus 8 minus 4, and that's 11. 11 is a multiple of 11, and that means 9,284 is divisible by 11. Now, because of this rule, we can see that all numbers that are palindromes, meaning they can be read the same forward and backward, as long as they have an even number of digits in them, all of these are a multiple of 11. And we know this because if we do the alternating sum, we would always get zero, and zero counts as a multiple of 11. So all of these are multiples of 11. Now, of course, why does this work? Well, let's use our original number, 9,284. We could break it up by place value, and I'm going to strategically rewrite the powers of 10. I'm going to rewrite 1,000 as 1,001 minus 1, 100 as 99 plus 1, and 10 as 11 minus 1, because 1,001, 99, and 11 are multiples of 11. Now, when we distribute, we can see that these underlined terms are already multiples of 11, so we don't have to worry about them. So, if... 9,284 is a multiple of 11, that forces negative 9 plus 2 minus 8 plus 4 to be a multiple of 11 as well. And the other way is true as well. So if negative 9 plus 2 minus 8 plus 4 is a multiple of 11, that forces 9,284 to be a multiple of 11 as well. Now, you may have noticed that I did the opposite of this at the very beginning of the video. I did positive 9 minus 2 plus 8 minus 4. And to be honest, it really doesn't matter whether you're starting with a positive or a negative, because negative multiples of 11 still count as multiples of 11. So there you have it, a quick way to see if a number is divisible by 11 and why this works. If you want practice, try these out.